Oh, hey guys. Yeah, it's me. Again. And, uh... Yeah, listen. What I want to say here is... Okay. You know how Sony's going to do this uh, state of play nonsense again? Yeah. There's a strong suggestion, and I don't know, and I want to get you guys' thoughts on this. I really do. Okay, what what I think Sony needs to do is they need to save up all their state of plays for the rest of the year and just do them all at once in what in one big presentation at the end of the year. That way they can that way they can just do their recap all at once and be done with it. Because these twenty minute state of plays are just getting ridiculous okay they're just getting to be ridiculous and pointless yeah and to be honest guys i think them doing them doing their state of plays all at once at the end of the year is actually a better idea than doing them like 20 minutes at a time where like in one segment they could you know, they could do, they could, you know, you, you know, announce game, new games that are coming up that, that are coming up in the, in the upcoming year. And, and then, and, and in segment number two, they could, um, answer viewers questions. They could answer viewers email. Like, let's say one person sends in an email saying something to the effect of, uh, dear Sony. Recently, I have been having trouble connecting to the PlayStation Network, and I, I had just recently bought a PS5. Is there any way you could possibly help me with this problem? And I've tried every, con every connection possible to do this, okay? And remember, and it would be signed something like Jimmy or James or some name. Some name that we probably all know. And remember, guys, this was just an example of a letter that they could pop, that they, of an email they could possibly answer. Segment three. Um, well, they could maybe talk about, you know, some rumors that have been going around, like rumors of a remake of a game that came out in 2012, I think it was. They could maybe address some of the rumors on that. Or they could address rumors, you know, of things that, you know, they can talk about. Because I'm sure there's one there's one thing in particular they don't want to talk about right now. Uh, segment four. Again, email, answering emails. Segment five. They can address some issues that they're currently have that they have, you know, that they have going on. You know, like maybe sometimes my like, people are like sometimes, you know, people I mean they could announce like upcoming, you know, tournaments or upcoming PlayStation competitions, things like that, you know. Guys, I'm just giving you I'm just saying ideas here that might actually be in Sony's best interest, because right now, frankly, they ain't looking so good. <laughs> now, Microsoft and Nintendo, yeah, they, they ain't really in that great a state either. So, let me just, you know, clarify that before somebody thinks I'm, you know, basically kissing Sony's ass, which I'm not, which I'm not. I am not. Let me be clear on that. I am not. But, let me just say this. And this I do mean with all with every bit of my heart. Sony, if you do ever see this video or anyone who works at these at Sony, please listen to what the people have to say, okay? Because frankly, I don't know how many people actually like these state of plays and how many people actually live stream them, but these state of plays have got have either got They've either got to get better, or they just need to, or you just need to save them up for like 
one big presentation, kind of like, you know, your version of E3, okay? Just listen to the people. That's all I ask. And that's what a lot of people have been asking you, is listen to the right people, but do not listen to certain idiots. Do not listen to certain people because they have no idea what they're talking about and they have no idea what they're doing. Now, here's another idea that Sony might want to, you know, take into consideration. Like, let's say they sit aside, and again, I still don't know completely what this is, but a PlayStation broadcast, except they do a video version of it, and they talk about, I, I mean, you know, this could be another. This could be another thing where, like, they were like, they get emails from from people, and they and Sony has to answer your question, or otherwise they have proven that they are not that they are not listening as much as the, as much as they like to say they are. That's right. They have to answer your question, or else it's like they're doing this. See. Like they're not listening. Yeah. So yeah. Um. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Sony should just save these state of plays for just one big presentation, or do you guys think these state of plays just need to just stop altogether? Because, in my opinion, either they need to get better, or they need to be stopped, or they need to be saved up for one big presentation. You know, Sony, just do something like E3. Just do your own version of E3 this year, okay? And and then you guys can do a state of play for as long as you want. And that's fine. But do not keep doing these state of plays unless you actually have something to talk about. Because lately, these state of plays, you've had exactly this to talk about. Nothing. You've had nothing to talk about. And I'm not defending, and I'm not saying these state of plays don't need to happen. It's just they need to either be longer, or they need to be more interesting. And that's all I'm saying, and that's all, and that's all I gotta say about that. Now, on to basically, you know... These little rumors that I've been hearing about a Lollipop Chainsaw remake. A bit, I, I've heard from somebody, and I, can't, and I don't know who, but Julia's design of the remake has already been revealed, so if anybody has any information about that, you know, go ahead and let me know, okay? Yeah, and if you got any, you know, if, and if you guys feel that maybe this remake... You know, needs to needs to come with like a, a. I just got an idea. Got an idea. Got an idea. And I know Sony probably ain't gonna do this, and I know the people who make you make or making this remake probably aren't gonna do this either. But this is an idea I had that you know might just work. Okay. Now, in addition to the remake, you make sure that you ship the game in the special edition with like. An art book, a CD of the soundtrack, see if you can actually get the soundtrack of the original game, and let's see what else, what else, what else, and maybe like all, all, all costumes unlocked in the game, and make sure you include, you at least include the all costumes unlocked, you know, version on the, on the, you know, on the on the base game in the in the remake, yeah. Just make sure you do that, okay? All right. So, guys, what do you guys think? You know, give me your let me know your thoughts in the let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And guys, do not forget to like this video and share and please share this video around for those for those of you out there who are, you know, who just really just want to I'm not saying you have to guys but it's the but it would meet but it would mean a lot to me okay and guys 
You guys take care of yourselves. You be safe. You be careful out there. Okay, guys. Till next time.